Hello, beautiful people. April is National Garden Month, National Poetry Month, and National Stress Awareness Month. And for today, April 2nd, which is my birthday, I want is a birthday message to make a video of my art. I made two parts. One is mainly flowers and the second one is mainly people. These are two of my most favorite subjects. I love drawing couples and children and brides. And as I mentioned, I think that the subject is just as important as the painting technique and the colors. And I wish to convey happy, beautiful emotions with my paintings. And they are either something I dream of, something I like, or I have experienced. Painting is my favorite pastime and I wanted to be an artist and I mentioned in my other video that I painted a lot since a girl and I took classes for painting and was preparing to be an artist but my dad thought I should be a medical doctor because it's a more stable profession and I can paint in my free time. Some periods I have more time to paint, others not. But my dream is to be a painter. It's never too late to be that wish which you wish to be. And so I will present some of my paintings. They're very valuable to me and in principle, I paint them for relaxation, enjoyment, channeling of emotions, stress management. But if you wish to buy any of my paintings, please contact me through LinkedIn and I'm happy to discuss because I know that one of the criteria through which a successful painter is measured is if they can successfully sell their paintings and how much they are valued. And so if I want to make a living from painting, I would like to see if people would like to buy my paintings. April is National Garden Month. I love roses and this is why I chose these beautiful roses and I have a floral top and floral earrings. And to start with my first paintings, which are a transition between the flower paintings and people paintings. This painting is roses in my home garden. And only my brother Dolce, out of all people that saw the painting, asked me, is this another portrait? Yes, it is. He knows that I love roses, and I always, almost always have roses at home. The next painting, which I already showed in my other video, is Playtime with my dad. And I'm showing it again just because it is spring, there are tulips and blossoming trees and green leaves, and here is hyacinth, and I'm the girl, I'm playing with dad, and he taught me to ride a bike, that's why I thought it's nice to paint a bicycle. And this is mom in the background, she's not with us, but in thought she is. And I mentioned in my first video,
reveal that I love to paint with watercolors. And now to start with my paintings of people. I love painting couples. And since it's poetry month, one can say that painting is poetry with colors. This painting is Shall We Dance? And here, because I love dancing, this is a couple. They are dancing in front of their house. And here are flowers. And they look very happy. I would say they're maybe dancing cha-cha or a tango. And the lady has fancy shoes with a flower. The next painting, which is a dream painting, is romantic couple on the beach with orchids. I've never been to a tropical beach, I have to admit. And this is my dream. And this is a couple in the tropics. And here I painted orchids from pictures which I have taken from the New York Botanical Garden. And in the background we can see the beautiful sea or ocean and the sunshine. And I researched the trees, that there are such trees in the tropics, and I wanted to make it as authentic as possible. This is another happy couple, a painting I painted in COVID times, and it was August 16, 2020. A happy couple on vacation at Maui. Everyone knows it was a time when people couldn't travel and I was dreaming of traveling with my sweetheart Lloyd. And so I painted this happy couple. Um, they have floral wreaths around their neck and she has orchids. And here is the hotel, and they're walking on the sand, and they are smiling and very happy. And while painting this, I felt the emotions as if I'm traveling with my sweetheart to a tropical resort in Hawaii. And so indeed, when the pandemic was over and it was possible to travel again, we went with my sweetheart Lloyd to the sea. However, we went to Cornwall and this painting is based on our visit to Cornwall and this is Lloyd and Genevieve watching the sunset at Holywell Bay Beach in Cornwall and I thought that the previous painting was like attracting our travel to the sea and here is the beach and this is Lloyd and this is myself and we are watching the sunset. It was very beautiful, memorable and romantic. And I try to depict the colors with the oranges in the sky and the sand in the beautiful blue sea. But this is again another couple. Another subject that I love drawing are brides. I love brides since a little girl. And even when I was three or four years old, I would run up to the bride and wanted to see her dress. And when we were in Cornwall with my sweetheart Lloyd in summer 2022, he took me to the Minak Theater 
and we saw a performance of a play, um, Vanity Fair, and based on this, I thought how wonderful it would be to have a wedding at Cornwall, at the Minac Theatre. And this painting is wedding at the Minac Theatre, and it was painted on June 5th, 2023. When we were watching the theater, there were dolphins, and this is why I painted this dolphin. And there were very beautiful flowers there at the Minak Theater in Bowl. Now, I'm going to show another painting of my bride series. This was painted in 2020, May, it was the time of social isolation when everything was done via Zoom, even weddings. And so this is a Zoom wedding in the lavender fields. Lloyd loves lavender, I love lavender, and they have the only witness, a puppy. And the bride has a beautiful bouquet of roses. And they are communicating with their loved ones through Zoom. Another bride series painting. I love the Berkshires in western Massachusetts and we visited with Lloyd several times for my birthday and for rest. And I thought that's a beautiful place for wedding. And this is winter wedding in the Berkshires. We can see the inn where the couple is staying or maybe it's their house. I thought it's the inn where they are getting married. And there is again a puppy. These are rose petals. The evergreen trees are covered with snow, and there is a cardinal. And the bride has something blue, a blue flower in her hair. Another bride series, this one is a bride and a flower girl. And I thought it's a bit symbolic that the bride envisions herself as she was a young girl and the young girl be wants to become the bride and this is a beautiful bouquet of roses and in the background we can see rose bushes. I also love painting children and this is a painting I made for my mom's birthday, this is mother fishing with her son and daughter in the Potomac River. Based on our visit to the Potomac River as children, when our dad took us fishing. And this is me and my brother Dochi, and this is our mom. I looked at one of our photos the dad took and it's a very happy spring mood. This is a painting that I made for the birthday of my sweetheart Lloyd and it is called Time Traveling Roses. I took two photos of him this was a photo of him in England as a child, as a boy, and he was by rose bushes. And then this was a photo we took when we went to Caramore and there were roses there again. And so this is him as a boy, as a young man, and this is me appearing when he's a men and I'm a young girl and so I have mixed up the time zones and all of the roses here 
symbolize love in a life filled with love and beauty. And because Lloyd loves dogs, I wanted to draw a dog here. Another painting of my people and children series. This was for my mom's birthday. It is thinking of mom with love on a July morning. And this is me thinking of my mom who is in the background holding me as a child. And this is why the background is pink. It's like dreaming. It's actually evening, but these are my thoughts here of mom. And the poppies, which mom loved, symbolize remembrance. And I'm holding roses, which symbolize love. And then another painting is based on the movie The Horse Whisperer. And this is the title of my painting. It was during the pandemic when I watched the movie and thought this is a very beautiful scene. When he was looking at the horse in the distance and trying to see what's wrong with it. And I loved the mountains and the greenery. And it was a time of social isolation when I wanted to go out in nature. And I thought it's wonderful to draw it, which relaxed me. Which raises the point that painting is wonderful for expression of emotions and relaxation. And so I hope that you have enjoyed looking at my paintings. And maybe some of you also love painting. If you wish to buy any of my paintings, please let me know.